It's time for Washington Fish Quest. This month's target species, American Shad. Hey Washington Fish fans, I'm here at uh, the Bonneville Dam uh, near the town of North Bonneville on the Columbia River and I'm here to target American Shad. American Shad are a lot like our native salmonoids in that they spend their life in salt water but are born in the river, in this case the Columbia. They tend to come back in late May and through June and you can check the Bonneville Fish Count website. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers posts uh, to check the counts at the dams to see uh, how they're doing. Uh, if it hits over 10,000 in a day, then that means there's a good chance that you'll have good shad fishing if you come on down here. Alright, if you can hear me over the pound and surf, uh, my setup is I only have a 6 pound main line. Most people would use more like a 10. Um, I got a pretty small weight on there, I'll almost certainly have to upgrade it, but I always uh, fish with as light as weight as I can get away with, so you know, I'll, I'll test it out and see. And right now, I only have a two pound test on with, uh, I got a glow in the dark bead and this little green corky there. Um, and I'm only using a size six hook, a lot of people use like a bigger one or two. My thought is these guys are plankton and krill eaters when they're out at sea, um, and they hit beads. So you might as well make the hook look tasty if you can. I mean, they might mistake that for a krill or something, I don't know why they would up a river, but I'm not a fish, so I couldn't tell you. But that's my theory anyway. I'm just casting a little bit ahead of me into the current and letting the weight bounce back. Uh, so it's probably about 20 to 30 feet past me and then I start to reel it in. Let it go any further than that and it'll start to get pulled into shore so much you're bound to get a snag in this rocky uh, habitat. Always uh, pry up this fishery, make sure your leader is uh, lighter than your main line uh, by at least two pounds, maybe even four, just so uh, you'll be losing leader and less main line and uh, weights and that sort of thing. No luck at the first spot, so I did decide to move closer to the crowd. However, I do have this really nice area bank all to myself. I just have to cast between a few trees is all. Finally got one. Uh, sorry you missed most of the fight. I uh, woof. I came back to turn the camera on at the beginning, but it would have seriously uh, uh, spooled me. I'm using six pound test again. Uh, and I gotta tell you, catching this guy, you know, he probably weighs about two pounds. It was like reeling in a, a pink of about you know three or four pounds, a pink salmon on that light of line on a buzz bomb or something. But uh, what he finally hit on was a uh, Swedish pimple, a, a green Swedish pimple like I use when I go ice fishing. I just had a couple in there. And for kicks, I, uh, you know, casted it out and started doing the kind of slow retrieve slash drift and yeah, nailed it. Um, yeah, green Swedish pimple, uh, just like you use for ice fishing. Given that I am using four pound leader and I've lost a couple, I now am implementing a uh, method of uh, fighting with them that is uh, a lot more just wear them down. I wasn't really horsing those two in that jumped, but I mean now I'm basically just uh, trying to wear them down uh, very gradually. I mean also let them sit in the middle of the river with a little pressure on them because uh, even that drains their gas tank and then try to get them in, you know, uh, with, without any acrobatics. Because, <laughs> uh, yeah, if they go airborne, it seems like my uh, chances of keeping them are pretty low.
There's number five. I lost my last uh, Swedish pimple, but uh, before I did, whoa, I snagged onto a uh, this shad dart on the rocks. There you can see it's the green and the white, and it is being is equally effective and uh, probably a bit cheaper than a, a Swedish pimple. Well, I got five before I ran into good lures. Uh, the shad dart worked great, and uh, the Swedish pimples worked really well. Um, they're a lot more predatory than I imagined. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you'll join me for next month's Washington Fish Quest. Uh, Miss Alvarado's class, I hope uh, whatever your quests are this summer, be them fishing or not, that they all turn out great for you.